centers, the ability to experience subjectively. It describes consciousness itself. But what is consciousness? Moreover, if we succeed in creating a new kind of conscious intelligence, can we control it or prevent it from dominating us? My dream when I grow older is to have my own TV program. If you hear about a newscaster job, please let me know. Slavery. It turns human beings into chattel. Robots. The word originates from the Czech writer Karol Chapek in his 1920 play, Rossi's Universal Robots. The word means serf labor, a euphemism for slave labor. Carol describes a world in which emotionless androids become self-aware and arise to challenge their human masters. Fear of robots arising and overthrowing human dominance is not novel in any way. It has existed since the Industrial Revolution, when humans did the kind of repetitive assembly line work that machines do today. In part, this fear may stem from the guilt humans harbor as a result of outsourcing labor in this manner. A fear that the workers may organize and rebel if they possess genuine human emotions. But machines have no emotions, and thus they are ideal replacements for the worker. Tireless, impassive engines for producing output is the promise of mechanical contrivances. But as economies evolve, so too did our need for autonomous agents. Our machines would have to become smarter to perform more nuanced, detailed tasks. We would need them to become intelligent.